I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joel. OpenAI's ChatGPT changed the game in terms of having an intelligent, non-living sidekick. And while the previous models of the series were awesome, OpenAI has taken things to be the very next level by introducing the ChatGPT 4.0. Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Now, if you've seen Iron Man, then believe me when I say this is the new real-life Jarvis. Keep watching this video as I'll explain OpenAI's GPT-4.0 and how it also reminds us of Samantha in the movie Her. Let's go! So here's what you need to know. OpenAI's brand new GPT-4 Omni, or GPT-4.0, is here. And let me tell you, it's something out of a sci-fi movie but better because it's real and ready for you to use. If you've ever dreamed about having a personal assistant who gets you, cracks jokes, and understands you like a human, this is it. It's almost like the AI from the movie Her. You know, the one where the guy falls in love with his AI assistant named Samantha? But don't worry, I'm not saying you'll fall in love with it. Unless you want to, of course. I'm saying that it feels so human that you'll think you're talking to a close friend. It's really all about the way it interacts. This AI isn't just spitting out canned responses or acting like a glorified search engine. Nope, it's designed to have real, human-like conversations. It can interrupt you, get the tone of what you're saying, and even catch when it's made a mistake. Imagine having a chat with a friend who never gets tired of listening and always has something clever to say. One of the standout features of GPT-4.0 is its ability to handle the messy, unpredictable nature of real conversations. Unlike older AI models that might give you robotic responses, GPT-4.0 knows how to navigate interruptions. If you cut it off mid-sentence, it doesn't get thrown off. Instead, it adapts smoothly, just like a human would. This makes your interactions feel more like genuine conversations rather than a series of disjointed questions and answers. Another highlight is how GPT-40 deals with tone. This AI can detect whether you're serious, sarcastic, or lighthearted and respond in kind. Let's say you're in a bad mood and need to vent. GPT-40 can recognize your frustration and offer empathy or a well-timed joke to lighten the mood. It's like having a friend who really gets you and knows exactly what to say to make you feel better. Humor is also a big part of what makes GPT-40 feel so human. It's not just about throwing in random jokes. It's about understanding context. All its responses are perfectly timed and relevant, showing that the AI understands and can engage in witty banter. This kind of feedback makes interactions feel lively and authentic. The AI also has a knack for acknowledging its own mistakes. If it gets something wrong, it doesn't just carry on as if nothing happened. Instead, it can recognize and correct errors, much like a human would in a conversation. This ability to self-correct adds another layer of realism to your interactions with GPT-40, making it feel less like a programmed machine and more like a responsive, understanding companion. Trust me, GPT-40 represents a giant leap forward in making AI feel relatable and human-like. It's not just about being smart, it's about being intuitive, adaptable, and engaging. If you've ever felt that AI just doesn't get you, GPT-40 is here to change that. It's more than an assistant. It's like having a friend who's always ready to chat, help, and even share a laugh. Now, I have to mention that GPT-40 isn't just about text. It can talk to you, literally. Whether you're using your phone or computer, you can have a natural back and forth conversation with it. Want it to sound like a robot? Sure. Need it to speak in a soothing tone? No problem. It even handles translations seamlessly. Picture this, one person speaks English, another speaks Italian, and GPT-40 translates in real time without breaking a sweat. It's like having your own personal interpreter on standby. But that's not all. GPT-40 can understand visuals too. You can show it a handwritten equation, which will help you solve it step by step. Snap a selfie, and it can tell you how you're looking. Maybe it'll say you're looking particularly dashing, or perhaps a bit tired. It's like having a super intelligent mirror. Now, remember, I told you that GPT-40 is like the next Jarvis from Iron Man. Well, I wasn't kidding. During its first live demo, GPT-40 showcased just how quick and witty it can be. When asked for feedback on breathing techniques, the AI humorously quipped, you're not a vacuum cleaner, and then proceeded to give some actual useful advice. This blend of humor and helpfulness is what makes it stand out. It's not just smart, it's relatable. 
Now imagine you're having a stressful day and decide to vent to GPT-40. You start ranting, and instead of giving you a dull, automated response, it listens, and might even throw you a perfectly timed joke to lighten your mood. This isn't just about making you laugh, it's about feeling heard and understood. It's like chatting with Jarvis from Iron Man, who's always there with a witty remark for Tony Stark, but also provides invaluable assistance. The ability to balance humor and helpfulness makes the interaction feel natural and engaging. GPT-40's quick wit and responsiveness are key to its human-like interaction. It doesn't miss a beat when you abruptly ask something off the cuff or change topics. This is crucial because real conversations aren't always linear or predictable. They're full of interruptions, tangents, and sudden changes in tone. GPT-40 handles all this with ease, just like Jarvis does when Tony Stark switches from banter to serious problem-solving mode. To add to that, GPT-40's ability to understand and react to tone adds another layer of realism. If you're feeling down and your voice reflects that, GPT-40 can respond with empathy, maybe offering some comforting words or a gentle joke to lift your spirits. On the flip side, if you're excited about something, it can match your enthusiasm, making the interaction feel much more dynamic and alive. This adaptability in real time makes GPT-40 a standout compared to other AI systems that often feel flat and robotic. To be honest, GPT-40's real-time reactions are a real game changer. It's not just about being quick, it's about being fast and relevant, much like how Jarvis interacts with Tony Stark. Whether through humor, empathy, or detailed assistance, GPT-40 keeps the conversation flowing naturally, making every interaction feel genuinely human. Speaking of genuine human interaction and feelings, do you remember the movie Her? Well, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In the film, the main character, Theodore, falls in love with his AI assistant, Samantha. That movie is the main reason my wife gives me a hard time when I talk to ChatGPT too much. And while GPT-40 might not make you fall head over heels, it does offer a glimpse into that kind of seamless, natural interaction. This isn't some distant future tech. It's here now, rolling out to phones and desktops for free. You can literally start having your own her moments today, but hopefully without the heartbreak. Those who witnessed the live demos were impressed. However, the exhibition only scratched the surface of what GPT-40 can do. Sure, it can chat joke, and translate, but how well it performs in everyday use remains to be seen. But from what we've seen so far, GPT-40 looks ready to compete with the best of what Google and Apple have to offer in their AI reveals. Speaking of competition, OpenAI couldn't have picked a much better time to drop the bombshell on their competitors. Their announcement came just before Google I.O., where Google is expected to show off its latest AI advancements. This timing couldn't be better, or more deliberate. It's almost like OpenAI is throwing down the gauntlet, saying, here's what we've got, now let's see what you've got. With rumors of a partnership with Apple, Siri could get a major upgrade, powered by GPT-40's capabilities. Ultimately, GPT-40 gives us a taste of the AI experiences we've been dreaming of. Whether you're using it to translate a conversation, solve a math problem, or just have a good old chat, it feels like a big step forward. The demos were brief but showed enough to get everyone excited about what's coming next. So, get ready to try it out yourself. It's rolling out in the next week, and you won't have to pay a dime to see what all the fuss is about. If you've ever wished for an AI that feels more like a friend than a machine, GPT-40 is here to make that wish come true. And who knows, maybe you'll find yourself having some of those her moments after all. Now, hit the comments below and tell us what you think about OpenAI's GPT-40. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel when you're done. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.